All right, guys, this is single-handedly gonna be the hardest video I'll ever shoot for YouTube. And I know it because this is a subject that is fresh, it's raw, it's near to my heart, uh, but I feel like it's much needed and something I need to get off my chest. So this is gonna be a tribute video to my coach, to my friend, my mentor, my brother, my training partner, and a man who I look to as my father, John Meadows, the mountain dog. I can't begin to explain to you guys how much that man has impacted my life. From 23 when I reached out to him and said, I need you to help me build my training program. I need you to help me get bigger. And he said, yes, sir, let me show you. I'm going to show you the way. And I'll never forget the very first program he ever wrote me. He titled it 12 Weeks of Pain and Suffering for Chris the Insane. Because in the questionnaire I put, I don't give a fuck what you do to me to torture me. Just make me grow. I will do whatever you say. Do not hold back. I'm ready for punishment. And, you know, I think that singular interaction is what led me to be where I am today. And I could have easily just put, I wanna grow. But I didn't think that actually accurately depicted what I wanted and needed from him in that moment. From there, grew a friendship and a bond and a mentorship that I didn't know was coming. And I don't know why. <laughs> I, I can only speculate that he saw a bit of himself in me and he wanted to nurture that passion I had for bodybuilding because that's the one thing that's undeniable for me. I love training. And him and I always bonded over that. Like when we would get together for a training session, it was just like next level. We didn't even have to say a bunch of words to each other. I'd ask him for some coaching cues or what the rep range is, but for the most part, I just followed his lead. And like I find myself like really graving that. Like I just want one more set with him. Just one. That's it. And doesn't have to be something crazy like the Bulgarian split squat. I don't give a fuck. Like, just one set. Because that man had the ability to pull shit out of me that I didn't think was possible. Like, when I went to train with him, no matter if it was the first time or the 15th time, I would get giddy like a school kid. And I would get nervous like I was going to go catch punts in the NFL. Like, it was this feeling of excitement and nerves and pressure. And I fucking loved it. And there's no one who's ever come close to that back and forth him and I have had. No one. No one. Literally no one. And, you know, I did my absolute best every time we were together to train as hard as I possibly could and to just soak up every ounce of knowledge he was trying to teach me. And you, what, what's funny is like, if you take all the things that he taught me in the gym, like that pales in comparison of from what I've learned from him. The things that I learned from John Meadows were how to treat people, how to act with integrity and honesty, how to engage people that ask for help. Because in this world of coaching and Instagram, like it's so easy just to blow people off and like, oh, it's a dumb fucking question. Well, guess what? He never thought there was a dumb question. He always took the time to answer, to explain, to teach. And if I do anything to pass on his legacy, like that's what I'm gonna do. It doesn't matter if we were in a, at an event or at the Arnold, like, he would spend time with every person and have genuine conversation. And when that person walked away, they felt like they were his friend. And not many people can do that. 
if you look at social media right now, you, you, you see how many people he truly impacted through YouTube, through events, through him competing. And I pray that I can be a fraction of that one day. And you know, it, it, touching on more things that he taught me, you know, in this world of bodybuilding where there's lots of women that throw themselves at you, I never once saw him do an ounce of anything that was remotely unacceptable because he loves Mary with all of his heart. And he would do anything for her. And that's something I look to emulate with my wife every day. Same thing with his boys. You know, he coached football with them after training in no AC. And after coaching a middle school practice, he would go and develop kids at, the, at his son's age and his own kids. And then we'd get home, and he'd go out back and throw more balls with them. It didn't matter how busy he was, how many emails he had, how many clients were blowing his phone up. He took time for his family, and he made them a priority. And in this world, that's so easy to forget. It's so easy to blow off. And then lastly, I'm going to finish this up. What he taught was brutal, relentless work ethic. It didn't matter if it was with Granite, our coaching business, building training programs, coaching his athletes, coaching his football team, in the gym. It was just straight fucking work. And guess what? I never heard him complain once. Not once. And I'd watch him go through stress and stressful periods, and it didn't matter. He was grateful for the life he had built and for the life he was building for his family. And to wrap this thing up, I'm promising the world that I'm going to do everything in my power to protect his legacy, to pass on his teachings of everything that he has shared with me, and to protect his family with everything that I have. I'm going to do my best to continue the Mountain Dog website so they continue to have income coming in. Because he, I know in my heart, if it was flipped, he would do the same for me. And he would look out for my wife and boys. I know it. There's no doubt in my mind. So, I can't explain and put into words how much he has impacted my life for the positive. And I thank God for the day I sent him an email to start working with him. Because I don't think either of us knew how much of an impact we were going to have in each other's lives. And I'm eternally grateful for it. Every minute that we had together. And you know, people keep asking me how I'm doing. And like, I just miss my friend. Like we would talk every day. And I'm just waiting for the phone to ring one day and it'd be him and I know it's not. I was in the gym today and I just finished training chest and shoulders and my phone rang and it said John Meadows. Well, it was Mary. <laughs> and it's just one of those things, like, it's eerie, man. It's just eerie. Because I want it to be him on the other line. I want it to be him. I, w I want to hear his voice. I want him to guide me. But now it's my ship. So I'm going to have to do everything that he taught me so that I can pass on everything that he taught me to you guys. John, I love you like a father, like a brother. I would do anything for you. And I want you to know, like, you will always live one in my heart forever. Mountain dog for life.